everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well, good, I hope your week has started off great. So happy Makeover Monday. So we are not doing any makeup today as you can see in the title. It is going to be all about the hair again. I really wasn't sure what to post today. I felt like I haven't really played with makeup for a while, but I posted this video on my Instagram yesterday. There's me being extra, being a bit cringe, um, really posing. And uh, when I posted that on my story on Instagram yesterday, I had a few girls message me saying, oh my gosh, how do you get your hair like this? And it's just kind of like my go-to kind of volume curls. Um, if I'm going out for the day and I want the curls to stay, um, I do this look, or if I'm going out for the evening, if I want to look really nice, this is my look. And I do have like a routine, because obviously I don't like to put heat on my hair every day. It is bad for the hair. I think everyone knows this. This video is going to be all about how I get the nice glam thick volume curls in my hair and uh, yeah I mean this is my natural hair this is me naturally if you watched my styling video that I did a few weeks ago on my favorite kind of looks with bangs I was saying I was mentioning a few times in the video um, that my hair I would say my hair is quite thin it's not like the thinnest but um, it's not the thickest, so yeah, this is like my natural hair, and I was saying that it's naturally straight, you know, I'm totally craving the natural curls, the waves the girls have, the thickness, oh, you always want what you don't have. <laughs> yeah, this is my natural hair once I dry it and brush it coming out of the shower, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you a little tip that I do before I curl my hair, just to give my hair some texture, a little bit of volume, and um, yeah, so we are going to go from this, to this! So as you can see, it is a big transformation from my natural hair to this. So if you want to get this look, keep on watching. Enough to chatter from me, let's get straight into it and I will show you how I achieve this look and I really hope you enjoy! Okay, so to begin with, you need a brush. Let's brush your hair and make it nice and soft and smooth. And we are just going to do a little tip on um, how I get some texture in my hair. And what I do is I literally pop the hair up, doesn't matter if it's a little bit messy, and I just do that twisting motion that I'm sure you've seen before, um, and I make these little buns. You don't want it too tight, you don't want any kind of like tight kinks in there or anything like that. You need one of these amazing clips which I always go on about, and what you can do is you're just going to clip that in. And do the same for the other side. Okay, so once you've got the two buns in your hair, I am going to grab some hairspray and I'm just going to hairspray the two buns and go into kind of like your roots as well. You know, get that hairspray all over. Just ate it. So now that your hair in the two buns, you've got some hairspray all over it. Now what to do is I usually do this before I do my makeup and then I let it stay like in my hair. Um, uh, blah, 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 what am I saying? Let buns stay in my hair, if you know what I mean. I leave my hair like this, basically. Um, and then I do my makeup and then I take the buns out. So let's say about like 10 minimum minutes. Um, but yeah, you can leave it in for like half an hour. It depends how um, much you want the curls to be like, just like, I don't know, defined and things. But this is actually my natural way to get curls. So instead of doing like a separate video on it, basically, if you don't want no heat on your hair and you want to get a nice kind of textured natural curl look, um, this is how I manage it. Um, but obviously this is going to be like, a big kind of like extensions, you know, my go-to kind of glam hair look. But um, yeah, if you want to have quite a natural look, yeah, this is how I achieve it. I take them out and there we go. And you brush the hairspray out and when the hairspray is dried and you brush out your hair, it gives your hair like texture and it makes it just a little bit thicker. So yeah, what I'm going to do is, because my makeup is already done as you can see, um, I'm actually going to go make some lunch and I will be right back. So, um, this has been in for just under half an hour, so I'm going to take the clips out. And then you will see that I've now got these natural waves with no heat. So, yeah, if you're interested in a no heat, more natural look, this is how I manage it. Okay, so now that we have got the nice texture in our hair, I'm just going to brush it a little bit, brush that hairspray out so there's no kind of like hard bits in it, you know, no one likes crusty hair. Okay, so now that I've brushed it, it makes it just a little bit more bushier and it gives you just a bit more, you know, you can totally see such a difference to just doing that little step, you know, um, to what I looked like before. So this is what kind of like, like I said, this is my everyday look. Um, if I also go like very natural, no heat. Next step I do is I pop my extensions in so what I do is I separate 
my hair. My hair is actually quite dark at the moment. Like my roots have really grown out. Um, I'm going to be getting my roots done just so I'm like blonder for summer, you know? Uh, just because I am getting quite dark. Look how dark um, my hair is. And uh, my extensions, I get a bit paranoid um, that my extensions um, would show. Yeah, I'll show you. So I clip in... There we go. So I've separated my hair like this. I have honestly collected so many different hair extensions over the years, um, but at the moment these are my go-to. I haven't used any other ones um, in such a long time. I've actually had these for like over a year, I think two, two, three years, and they've lasted and I am curling them, I'm straightening them, they are amazing. I'm, I actually went onto eBay to get a new pair and the one that I used has gone but there's very very similar ones on there so I'll link everything down below but um yeah so I get mine off eBay and it looks like this I make sure that I get the double deluxe now this might look like a bit like weird because I actually sew like my own ones like make it thicker or yeah so I buy like a few and then I is because you, you can sometimes get like six to eight pieces in one set and I don't use that many I have three sets here um, together so I have like three that looks like really bad but let me brush it <laughs> what I do is I take some hair off of one bit and then I connect it onto another one so it's like extra thick and then that's the bit for the back so yeah I really do kind of play about with my extensions so let's get into each other many people uh, tease the roots for the extensions that clip into so they don't fall out um, yes, you can do that, but I am so against it. It's so bad for the hair because you're just ripping into your hair. It will get thin over time. And once you've damaged the hair follicles like that, it doesn't grow back. So I stopped teasing my hair years and years ago. And I wish I could show you the difference of like my hair to what I look like then because, oh my gosh, my hair was so thin and now it's like growing out like really nice I mean like I said at the beginning it's not like the thickest hair but you should have seen what it looked like years ago so yes what I do instead of teasing I hairspray so and you're probably like what so basically I hairspray the roots area then let it dry just like you know literally like a minute and um, what happens is it crystallizes the hair. So instead of like teasing it and really damaging the follicles of the hair, um, you're literally just putting in a hairspray. And because the hairspray gets sticky, as you can see, it's starting to get sticky, a little bit crystallized, obviously when it gets dry. And um, that is enough too. Well, for me anyway, um, yeah, clip the extensions in just to give them a little bit of more gripping colour I use by the way is blonde highlight so as you can see there's a few different blondes in there I think it's the 816 no 18 slash 613 that shade and it's called blonde highlights and um it's so difficult to get I feel like it's so difficult to get extensions for blonde girls there are so so many different shades of blondes you can be and I feel like it's a lot easier for people who've got darker hair so yeah it takes a long it literally took me such a long time to color like match my hair there were so many different sites I spoke to and they were like oh we do free color matching and it came and it was just like so the wrong color like so yes, I took it into my own hands, went onto eBay, and um, I get a set, and it was about like fifty pound or something, which is really good considering you know how expensive hair is these days. So what I do, another trick is I actually take hair like this. So instead of just putting it into the hair, if you have thin hair, take a bit of your hair out like this, and then pull out your hair. So the clips definitely clip into the hair. If that makes any sense, it's very difficult to show you, but um, yes, that's what I do. I'll do like a different angle and hold it out so the extension like goes into that bit. Oh, you know what I mean, yeah? It's, diff it's really difficult to show you. And then that gives it like extra kind of security. My hair down. And what I do is I brush the extension kind of roots in. So as you can see, you can see it. But once I brush over the top of it, okay, so I've now got some more hair. So we are now ready to curl. So as you can see, I've still got the nice natural waves and my extensions aren't massively curly. I don't really curl them every time. I don't really curl them every time I curl my hair. Um, they do hold the curls really well. Um, the extensions, so yeah, what I do is I kind of 
style my hair to suit the extensions so having the extensions quite like wavy and not really tight in curls I can get away with this look just having the natural waves but if I want to curl my hair even more they still go because obviously they're under the hair and they're kind of there for more volume so yes Ooh. okay so the curlers I use it's called Bombay hair um, I like them just because it, there was like a rose gold option and it was pretty. Uh, but yeah, so what I do is I go on to temperature 180. I'm a 180 gal. I never go higher. I never go lower. I feel like it's a very good temperature to get what you need. It's not too hot, but it's hot, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'll just wait for this to heats up, it heats up very quickly and I also love how it's um, instead of just lights kind of going duh, duh, until it's ready it shows the temperature going up, I'm not sure if you can see um, probably not because this is not autofocus <laughs> but yeah but it's like 138, 1340, 145 so yeah the temperature is going up so what I do is, oh my goodness, it's, I feel like I've um, done a curling hair video before but um, yeah, I mean obviously this is a little bit different because I've got like a different hairstyle with the bangs but um, because my hair is already quite wavy, I really just kind of touch it up so I always start at the um, top side and then I make my way from, like I make my way to the back Okay, so now that it's heated up, I want to show you I never curl my hair in I never do that, I always curl my hair so it goes out, it just gives you more volume so I go out the way instead of in the way, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so yes, I go out the way and like this. I don't hold it there for too long. Again, I don't like tight curls, but look, it curls your hair so nicely, like and so quick as well. What was that like? Seven seconds or something? So what I do is if I can, I try and push the bits that I've done on over the top of my hair just so I don't mix so going out the way as you can see and not in because your hair like then goes out and instead of it going in towards your hair um you get more volume if it goes the other way around so uh, yes <laughs> so they're such cute bouncy curls i absolutely love this thing this curling ton as you can see it's very kind of thick um that's what i look for as well i don't yeah i mean i do like the nice kind of tight small curl look um, if I want to go for like a kind of a perm vibe which I do love I do love to plait my hair and get the cute little tight curls but yeah not for this like look if I want to feel glam and nice I love big bouncy curls um, yeah I just feel like it's more volume and um, yeah <laughs> I just say I literally love these clips if you are having troubles separating the hair just use the clips there we go so, so as you can see the extensions are mixing into my hair and I have kind of got like a balayage kind of highlight um, roots when I get my roots done I never get it to the um, skin if it makes any sense I do kind of get a nice balayage highlight kind of random look so when my roots do grow out it looks very natural looking so yeah as you can see the extensions are mixing in really nicely with my hair but yeah it's just like I just, just get scared if it like shows at the roots because obviously my hair has really grown out lately and um, but yeah, so what I do is when I say I don't recurl my extensions, I don't purposely do, but I mean as you can see, if they are mixing into my hair, I just kind of curl away and then obviously it'll kind of make it look a lot more natural as well if the extensions are mixed. So guys, I have oh fuck it. So let's chat about Love Island. What do you guys think? I'm like totally obsessed with it. Um at the moment, I don't know where you are, like if you've caught up or if, 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 even if you don't watch it, you're probably not interested in what I'm going to say. But yeah, I'm at the stage where I, like, I've caught up, but I was actually two days behind. But um, I took a little time out yesterday and um, I decided to catch up because then you can't come on Twitter because everyone, everyone's talking about it. So I've been really trying to avoid Love Island and just everything Love Island really um, until I caught up. But yeah, I caught up last night and oh my gosh, what do you think of like the new girl Arabella and like this whole um, Yuwande situation? <gasps> Driving me crazy. Okay, at the end of the day, Arabella is stunning. 
Yuwande is stunning. They are both gorgeous girls and I really love Yuwande. I've loved her from the start. She's so beautiful um, inside and out. She is so real. She's so intelligent. She's just got everything going for her. And um, oh, who's messaging me? <laughs> it's sad um, to see her like with no confidence and it honestly just goes to show, and this is what I've spoken about in my um, Let's Talk videos, um, it just goes to show that if you don't have any confidence, um, it just, it can change you so much, like just having, you know, self-confidence is so important and knowing your worth and things like that, she has clearly not been with anyone that has just, hasn't treated her right and it's so painful to see, you know, it's so sad um, that someone so amazing, it just goes to show that someone so amazing um, still hasn't been treated correctly by someone and um, which is why, which is why like you can't rely on anyone, you know, for like self-happiness and things like that so yeah and my so yeah my heart really does go out to her i don't like the way arabella is coming across though um like with you one day i understand the whole kind of danny situation like he's a very affectionate guy but she hasn't got the confidence to be affectionate and i'm kind of like that as well i'm very affectionate when i'm comfortable with someone but at the end of the day i mean it, it's Love Island, you know, they're not like massively close and I think she's too scared to get close because she doesn't want to get hurt and um, she's like watching the whole kind of Arabella Danny thing because it's like she wants, it's like she wants to prove that she was right, like he's going to hurt her, just the whole thing is so sad and um, it is, oh. <laughs> I understand but after seeing last night like Arabella taking her to her side and like wanting her to justify like her actions and things, it's like um, you one day doesn't owe you anything, you know what I mean? I mean, sorry if I'm getting, really getting into this, but oh my gosh, I mean, when I was watching it, I was like, sorry, why has you one day got to justify herself to you? You know, you don't own Danny. I feel like the way she's coming across, she's kind of like putting you one day beneath her, and it's completely acceptable and justifiable for her to do all the things she's doing, like to kind of break them up in a way. <laughs> okay, guys, and now that I have curled. Um, this side. As you can see I haven't like massively curled at all, I have left the kind of natural waves and the, some of the extension of what it was as you can see there's like bigger curls than others and I think it's really nice once you brush it out it just has all the different curls in it and yeah it looks really really lovely so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the clip out take all of my hair down, I'm like holding on to this, I'm scared to put it down because the flooring is new. <laughs> okay, so now that I've taken my hair down, I put my fingers through the hair like this and I then leave it to do its thing, just kind of settle while I do the other side and I'll be right back. <laughs> Here we are, these are my curls. Now my mum actually likes my hair like this without brushing it but um, I do like to brush it, but what I do is that when the curls are like this, when they're kind of fresh, I take a little bit of hairspray, and I don't want a lot, because like I said, crusty hair is not a good look, but um, yeah, what I do is I put some hairspray, just, you know, kind of like a light um, coating, like this, so you've got, after your curls are like this, you've got a little bit of hairspray in them, you can leave them, I mean, if the weather is quite crazy outside, I actually leave them like this, like if it's windy or something like that. If I want a little bit more volume and I want them to be a bit more kind of like bushier, and um, what I do is I brush them out. So, like I just hairsprayed them, I wait about 10, like 5-10 minutes, then I brush it out. And um, that is how I create, I feel like it kind of mixes the extensions in a little bit more as well. It kind of just makes it a bit more like, whoosh. But yeah, who is your favourite on Love Island? I, do you know what, I'm actually completely loving and obsessing over Amber and Michael as well. I feel like at the beginning I really didn't like Amber at all, but there was a few girls who were like, she's kind of misunderstood, and I completely get it now, like she's so straight to the point, I would love to be her friend, <laughs> she'd be so honest. Just loving her and Michael, I think they're so sweet, I want them to like go straight to the final, even to win, because I really like them. I love Curtis, um, but I'm not so sure about Curtis and Amy, I feel like he's kind of, he's so sweet and so nice, I feel like he's not enjoying like the Love Island experience the way he wants to, I feel like he's settled quite quickly with Amy. So yeah, I'm not sure if they would go to the final, I'm not sure if like, people are loving them or hating them. Okay, I've left this in for five minutes, the hairspray. I'm now going to brush it out. Yeah, I just kind of go through the layers just to blend everything in. Kind of brush through the curls like this. And we 
are done. So as you can see, it's just a little bit more like bushier when you brush it through. The curls aren't so tight and yeah, I like it when it's really kind of bushy. You've got the volume going on there. So yes, what a transformation from how I was naturally to this. So I really hope it was helpful for you and you enjoyed this video. And if you have got, you know, similar hair to me where it is naturally straight and you just want the volumes, you want the curls, honey, here we go. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, if you are new here, thank you so much for watching and I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button, join the Annie fam, hit the notification button as well so you're notified when I post. I'll go and find a link for the curlers and I'll try and find a very similar link to the extensions that I use from eBay and um, everything will be linked below for you. So yes, there we go. Okay guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you have a fabulous week. I will see you throughout the week again in my next video. Yeah, if you don't follow me on Instagram, it is Annie Magic. Um, it's up here for you to go and search me up and yeah just because I'm always on there so if you want to talk to me about anything just send me a DM and we can have a chat on there so I'll catch you guys like I said in my next video and I'll see you then bye